Hi everybody, we're going to do a bit of English now. We're going to continue on with our narrative topic. And now we're going to look at another uh, common error that I see, and that is using uh, our tenses correctly and consistently. And the emphasis here is on consistently, because I see a lot of the time uh, uh, children changing between tenses in their writing. Uh, but... What do we, where do we, where should we start? We should start with what is a tense? Have a think about it. We've done a, we've done a lot about this so far when we were back in school, but I just want just a brief overview. What is a tense? So a tense is just words to show when things happen. So we can use words to say if things have already happened. We can use uh, words to show if something is happening now and or if something will happen in the future. Now, there are some uh, tenses that sort of go in the middle of those, but those three things are our main ones. So what's already happened, what's happening now and what's happened in the future. So we call it the past tense and that is for things that have already happened. It is in the past. We use things like he was sticky. He ran to the park. The present tense is used when something is happening now or if something happens regularly and you expect it to happen regularly. He is sticky. The future tense is used to talk about things that haven't happened yet, but likely will happen in the future. So he will be sticky. You can see that he was sticky, he is sticky, he will be sticky. They're our basic tenses. Now, there are some other ones uh, that we'll cover a bit more in other, other lessons. But those main ones what we really will really help our writing. So for narrative writing this week, we are going to be writing in the past tense. So all of the things that we talk about are, are going to have already happened. The past tense... Uh, Oh, as I've just said, for things that already happened. So, for example, he was sticky. He was sticky. Uh, the dolphin swam past the ugly island of rubbish. Beneath the sea resided a variety of creatures. Now, if we, if you've done reading, you'll see that we can tell a lot of the time uh, with just the words that are being used. So, in in this case. Here we've resided, we can see that it is past tense because of ed on our verb. So what I want you to do is these three sentences down here, but one, two, three. Which tense are these sentences in? She is wearing a red coat. He doesn't want to eat the chocolate cake. They will walk to the park after the rain stops. So she is Wearing a red coat. She's doing it right now. It's happening right now. This is in present. He doesn't want to eat the chocolate cake. Now this is present as well. Because he doesn't want to. It's not he didn't want to. He doesn't. It comes from this very does rather than did. They will walk to the park after the rain shop stops. Have they done it yet? No. Are they doing it now? No. But they will do once the rain stops. So that one is a future. So these sentences down here, this is our one chili challenge, by the way. Whoa. Our one chili challenge. So remember, we've got this to help us. This is the past, present, that's now, and the future. So here we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They are sentences and they are written in the past, present and future tense. Your job is to identify which ones are past, which ones are present and which ones are future. And you can do that by writing them out and writing the word next to them or printing it out and writing the word next to them or sorting them into a nice table or into groups. We want to know which ones are past, which ones are present and which ones are future. So for two chilies. 
we have a sentence, uh, sorry, we have a paragraph, which is full of sentences. Can you rewrite this in the past tense? You can, you'll can. you notice that some of the words are bold. That might be a clue as to which words you need to be changing, enable to, to, for you to change it into the past tense. For our three chili challenge, this paragraph should be written in entirely past tense, but there are a few errors. Rewrite this properly and make sure that it is completely in the past tense. This is a really good skill for helping us to spot errors in our own work. Oh. Before I log off there, I've got some answers. So pause it, finish your work, and then I'll show you some answers. So answers, here we go. So we have, I will be going shopping next Tuesday. So Tuesday hasn't happened yet. Next Tuesday, we will be going, so it's future. Elijah wondered, that already tells me that it's gonna be past. He wondered what to eat for breakfast first. I am in my garden. Maggie is sewing a button, so those two are present. Greg will, so that's future. When Harry threw the ball through, tells me that it's happened in the past tense. It went very far. Quickly, Larry hid. You know that this is past as well. So well done if you got that. Hopefully, you have managed to change some of these. So pause it, look through it. I'm not going to read it all out. And here we go, here are the errors. Well done if you spotted them. Again, I'm not gonna read them out. It's a really important skill, and it might seem basic to some of us, but it's good to get the basics done correctly.